how you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Tuesday over here in the Atlantic. We have a couple of features that we're going to be watching. The first main one here is Tropical Storm Bread still spinning away east of Florida. If we go into the floater here, uh, we can see that convection has weakened near the center overnight, not to say that it was very strong to begin with. If you guys can see, there's this cirrus flow coming out of the north and northeast just to the north of the system, and these clouds are disappearing right before they reach Brett's circulation, implying that the air is sinking as it is a convergent area aloft where the air is piling up and being forced to sink, which dries it out, and thus the atmosphere here is really dry, and there's a lot of sinking air over Brett, which will continue to diminish convection, and Brett is now on his weakening leg. Pressure is now back above 1,000 millibars, and uh, will be dissipating as he moves off towards the northeast with time, and will eventually be gone from our sights uh, fairly soon. Going back to the big picture over here, Brett may bring some showers to Bermuda, which is right over here, though probably not a big threat, and will likely be fully mostly to fully dissipated before getting there. The other features we're going to be watching here is this large tropical wave in the eastern Atlantic and this other tropical wave near Puerto Rico. This big one over here in the Eastern Atlantic is the biggest concern right here as it's got some spin to it and is uh, one of the bigger African waves to come off and is going to remain well defined as it comes across the Atlantic here over the next several days. And some of the models are hinting at this uh, being somewhat of an issue. This is the animated total precipitable water imagery from CIMSS. Here's our wave spinning away as it comes across. There is some dry air getting entrained into it, uh, but it is possible that as it journeys across the Atlantic, it tries to get rid of this dry air and maybe something to watch down the road. This is the European showing day five. Here's the tropical wave uh, near Puerto Rico and the northern Antilles Islands as it is moving west-northwest over here. Sorry, the cursor is a little hard to see. Uh, if we go to the ensembles for the European by day eight, there's some variants showing up here north of the uh, big Caribbean islands, and this is something that the European has been hitting at for a couple of days now. Some of the ensemble members showing this becoming a little bit of a concern area down the road um, off the Bahamas and the southeast U.S. coastline, perhaps curving out this way into a trough, but, you know, far out. We'll have to see whether this causes any kind of an issue. And here's the UK Met, day four, uh, sea level pressure. Here's the wave, very well defined right here, north of the Antilles Islands. N notice where it is, pretty far north uh, for, for where most of the waves have been so far this year. This is showing that the African wave train is starting to get going as we head towards the Cape Verde season. And if we go towards day six, look what the UK Met is showing here. Low pressure developing north of Hispaniola entering the Bahamas here in six days to a week or so out early next week, midweek next week. We may have to watch this closely. Could be something that we may have to watch down the road as this wave will remain well defined and moving off this way will need to be watched. The other wave I mentioned is right here near Puerto Rico. Not too heavy of a concern given no model support, but there is a little bit of, just a little bit, mind you, of vorticity or spin located north of the Bahamas, and there's an upper low here that is helping to ventilate some of these thunderstorms, and uh, it may be worth warily watching just in case this thunderstorm activity remains sustained as this moves off this way and the upper low continues to back away along with it. Those sorts of features are... They can be a little sneaky and must be watched regardless of whether the models support development or not. So those are the, those are the features we are currently watching. Uh, I almost called this Tomas for some reason. Uh, Brett will be moving off northeast towards Bermuda, but not really um, a threat to them right now. Probably will dissipate mostly by the time it gets there on its weakening leg now and will not be a threat to land. A couple of tropical waves in the Atlantic will need to be watched, especially this one in the eastern Atlantic as it comes across. Could be something to deal with as we head in towards next week north of the Caribbean for the first time this year. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.